Well, the two top Communist Party officials in China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region have been answering questions from the news media at the two sessions in Beijing. They said security in the region improved last year and passport restrictions had been lifted. CCTV's Han Peng reports from the Great Hall of the People. Xinjiang was rocked by terrorist attacks in 2013 and 14, but there have been few reports of violence in the last year. Xinjiang. That did not stop reporters from raising questions about region's security when the Xinjiang delegation met the press at a National People's Congress. Xinjiang's party chief Zhang Chunxian had a positive message. The security in Xinjiang is improving. With the number of terrorist attacks dropping by a large margin, the region is becoming more capable of preventing and handling terrorist threats, despite the increasingly complicated international situation. This time last year, Zhang confirmed for the first time that the influence of Islamic State had reached Xinjiang. He said some residents had illegally crossed the border, received jihadist training in Syria, and returned to Xinjiang with plans for more bloody atrocities. Officials say there were also cases of residents joining overseas terrorist organizations in Pakistan and Afghanistan. In response to the threat of terrorism, Xinjiang imposed passport restrictions in 2006, making it more difficult for the region's residents to apply for a passport and go abroad. Xinjiang's deputy party chief announced on Tuesday that all those restrictions have now been lifted and applicants are being treated equally under the law. We admit that new rules are likely to be taken advantage of by a few criminals, terrorists, and extremists. But we should not let our response to one issue damage the overall situation. Now we are confident about the improved regional security and committed to opening up the region and making things convenient for the people. Officials warned that despite improved security, overseas terrorists have not stopped their attempts to infiltrate Xinjiang and propagate extremist ideologies. Regional authorities have sponsored authoritative Islamic religious leaders like Abdul Kab Tumniaz to interpret Quran for ordinary Muslims. Many Muslims have now realized the harm of religious extremism and the goals of these propagators. Through our interpretation, we are confident we can solve the problem of extremism on the right basis of religion. The deputies of the Xinjiang delegation are from all walks of life, and they vowed continued efforts in their respective fields to fight against terrorist infiltration and safeguard the region's hard-earned stability. Despite the heavy focus on Xinjiang's security situation in the Q&A session, deputies say that the fight against terrorism does not represent the whole of Xinjiang. They say that the region is a beautiful landscape with friendly people and fast economic growth and hope that reporters could pay a visit on their own before drawing any conclusion. Han Peng, CCTV, Beijing.